Hey, what's going on, y'all? My name is Tom Mizzle. You're watching my channel, Mizzle 14. And I'm here doing a review of Hit the Floor, Season 4, Episode 3. Bad Blood. It was another good episode, and I'm just jump right into it. Derek and Eve was, they met up at the arena. Derek, Eve didn't have her card, so Derek got her in. So they was talking, and she basically tried to fish information about him, about him and Jude relationship. And he said he don't you know, get along with him like much. And he don't like Jude being a boss as that much. And um, she also was asking about the Miami game. He said he'd be fine, he'd be okay. And there's a lot of tension going on. It's a jump shift for him, but he'd be good. And um, basically, he was saying he'll have other. He needs to. He have other things to worry about than worry about Jude. Because she was asking more about Jude and him relationship and how it's good. It may be tough than him being the boss now and y'all have this bad blood between y'all he said he got other things to worry about so that's like set her mind in motion because now eve is like the villain of the show she's sneak she's like a snake slither in doing her little thing make people think that she's innocent but she's trying to take them down one by one yelena has gone so we don't have yelena antics anymore so now we got this little eve trying to do her little thing which i can't stand her now because she's doing way too much I'm sorry, but but that's that. The next we get Noah and Jude. Noah and Jude was in the bed. They was they just finished freaking. And Noah's asked Jude, he said, Hold up, how do you feel about getting the boss uh, boss now? how do you get that? And he said, Did your lady just end up just giving it to you? She said, No, your lady don't give anything away. Especially the devil's arena. So that's true. She don't give something away without something in return. So basically he said that five um sexual favors sexual favors to five investors later, he got the um arena. So I say, damn, he had to go through all that just to get the sale. But he said he's fine, he's good, and he said when you wanted something for all your life and then somebody gave you the opportunity to give it to you, you gonna take it. I say, Hey, if you do got the opportunity and that's what you really want Follow your dreams and take it. And I guess G, Jew went um went along and take the deal. Even though he might have to do some things that he may or may not want to enjoy in doing. But he got the arena. So he's the new owner. And next we get Kyle and Jamie. Jamie was looking at her picture because she got the poster now. She was the it girl. Because remember last week, Jamie lied and said that the ISN was... um. Featuring they dance and showing it on air and just a freak London out because she know how she feels about cameras So London decided to give Jamie that spot. So since giving Jamie that spot Jamie took it and ran with it and now she got the poster and now everybody mind with her So um, Kyle said, oh, you doing yourself good. She said it feels so good. So London came she said mind with it. She said, oh you must really be proud of yourself. And she said, oh, it's not going to be so bad. And she said, oh, well, you don't see bad yet. I said, oh, London's coming for you, girl, Jamie. You lied, and now she coming after you. So, so she want her spotlight back. So she went to see Kyle and told Kyle, you said, you know what? The promo for Devil's Arena, Devil's, we should do something different. Because every year they do the same thing. They got guys throwing basketballs and stuff. It's just different. Let me show you our idea. So she gave a Kyle the folder, and Kyle said, "Well, this is showing just the devil girl." She said, "Yeah, it could be promo for us through the whole season, and it would be great. And I'll be front and center." And she said, "Okay, let me talk to the high up, the flagpole, basically the high up." And Kyle is kind of frustrated because that freaking things that the girls did at the house caused her to get the salary bump. And so she before she able to approach her case to Yelena, Yelena up, jump ship and left. So now she got to deal with you. So Kyle decided to take the photo to Jude and also the contract agreement, whatever. Basically agreeing to the terms that Yelena did for her. But I guess Kyle maybe abellished a little bit more to it. So she gave him the agreement first and he looking over. He said, well, Yelena will not agree to this. It's only one on neither will I. So he gave it back to her. So she said she tried different tricks to try to get her money up. Cause you know Kyle money, I don't know what's going on. I think Kyle money ran out dry. And so she trying to get him more pay. Cause you know Kyle like that fast money. And he didn't give it to her. 
So she tried to flirt with him, and I said, that doesn't work, Kyle. You know he's gay. He's not. It doesn't work that way. And you know from last season when he was kissing him on Jew, not Jew, Zero kissed him in front of everybody, so you know he's not in that to it. So he's not into girls. So she tried to flirt by showing her blue breasts. And then she said, you know what, you need a hag. He said he already got one. His hag is Lionel, okay? And um, she said, oh, well, damn. He said, what else you got? So she slammed the folder to the and said, here, show this. And he was looking at that. Now, later on, London asked Kyle, how did it go? And Kyle said, it's a go. They liked it. They gave, they gave him half a million towards devil girls she said wow and everything so they go set the promo but they don't want you front and center they want jamie so that let london be in piss she said oh my gosh right so pax pax this is the rookie and Devic was in the locker room they was changing talking you know pax is admiring Devic so much and also, once again, reading Derek's stats and everything and showing how he praised, appreciate him and being on his team. Yada, 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 basically. And he gets his text. So, you know, Pac's side hustles is that he fucking for money, basically. I mean, he met this woman a long time in the first episode at the bar. They had sex. She gave him money. Then she told her friends. That he's well endowed, that he's good. So the following week, he met another lady. She gave him double money. So he got money from that. This week, he met three women. And they tripled his pay to give him money. Because he's doing this, it's kind of threat, um, affecting his job performance in the court. Because he doing so much energy, having sex, and getting his side money, fast money. He's not... Proving himself on the court. So he's burning himself out. And Kyle warned him. Because Kyle met Pax in like in a hotel. Whatever that they was talking at. And. She said I can help you. And he said he don't need help. He's covered. And he's good. So Kyle said I'm the legend. And watch me work. So she went to see this guy named Jerry. Jerry. I don't know who he was. He was some agent or something. Who wasn't to sell some of the merchandise so Kyle was showing her merchandise to them and the broad panty you know how she is she trying to flirt her way to the guy so she said let me show you my secret package she said got more packages he could sell these things it would be worth the worth it and they could sell and they end up having sex like Kyle fashion she used her sex to get what she wants and later on, he probably duped her. I don't know what happened. He said three to five years. He needs to wait. He's not doing good. She's not doing good. So that was, like, done. So Pax said he needed help from Kyle. He said, you know what? I do need your help. Because the reason why he needs help, I'm going to touch into that later on. He said he needed help. And she said, you know what? I'm going to help transform you to be better in the games. And... To not rely on Devic so much because everybody relying on Devic to get the Devil's game up because Devic's the only legend there and he's good and the Devil's players is not really good right now without him. So they need more players there to boost up to freaking help carry the team so it won't be relying on Devic so much. So she said she gonna help him but she said you got to train for my bank account. I get 5% and he was like oh but she said you need my help or not. He said you know what cool. So, I guess Kyle will be Pax manager for now. Alright, so with that going on, right? Um, yeah, Lionel and Nora talk. They was in the ISN. and they were looking at the Miami coverage. And Eve came in and she was talking to... Lionel and they had a little talk between each other and Lee he was asking more questions about Devic and Jude relationships and saying Jude could be fine or Devic could be fine. She trying to fish more information from them and Lionel said they got this. Um he can handle the pressure, he could deal with it and stuff like that. So she said fine. So Lionel walked back to her office to with Noah 
and even made a phone call to somebody and said she needs some explosion, she needs a fire going on for somebody. So she's trying to set a plan in motion between the rift between Derek and Jude and trying to tear that up. And so her whole plan is she is trying to get rid of Derek so the devil plays false because without Derek, they won't be nothing. So that's her plan is. Cause remember, she's trying to take each person down. So I guess Derek is her next choice. Yelena's up, Yelena's up is gone. Pete got killed. So next, I guess her target is Derek. And so she met with a guy named, um, what was his name? Pierce. And she said she wanted to dig up dirt on him and try and express gossip to Miami, saying that Devin has been trash talking Miami, saying this and that, saying they no good, they was whack, all that stuff. So he said, you know what? I need more than gossip to get me off. So I need something to dig deeper in his information. And you need to pay more. She said money is not a thing. I want Derek destroyed. I need to find I need something to get him that they need to trade him off. Once they get rid of him, it will be no devils. So basically she trying to get rid of Derek. So when they had this game and everything, Derek was playing the game. He was doing okay, but he was not getting help from Pax. Pax was like saying, I got you, I got you. Saying, get your game up. Let's do this. Help me out. Will you cover your guy? Pax was slacking, basically. So that was doing everything himself. So the guy that was on the news coverage, because earlier, Derek saw the news coverage of a guy talking in the Miami team saying, Derek is talking about us. We go trash. I will meet him. And Derek was rattled, rattled because Derek didn't say anything about Miami. Remember, that was Eve doing. Nobody noticed yet. So the guy, I think Derek is all trash talking them and stuff like that. So they were going back and forth. And back and forth. And something came up. I guess the big dirt that I had is that um, Derek told Pete, first episode member, that Asha killed his baby and everything. So. The guy made a reference about him not having his kid or something, or she got rid of it. So, so I just told him, do him more, because I say there's something that he shouldn't be knowing, and I just ticked Derek off, and Derek started punching the guy and hitting him up. So I was like, oh, Derek, that's not good. So doing that mess event is a fight broke out. Somebody hit German in the face, so he got a concussion, and. Devin got ejected from the game. I was like, oh my gosh. And he was really pissed. So Pax came. And this was the reason why Pax needed help. Pax came and Devin chewed him up. Devin said, you know what? You spitting stacks to me. I don't need that. I need you to have my back. It can't be all on me. And he was freaking Pax stacks. So he said, it means that you haven't been doing this a lot. You wasn't. You're not really advanced, so you need to step your game up and play the game or get out, leave. So that's what Pax asked Kyle that he said, you know what, they ripped me a new one and I need your help. And he realized that the thing that he's doing is really burning him out and he's not performing the way how he's performing. Because Kyle told him that you doing this side little thing with his money and getting all that stuff, that's good and everything, but it's affecting your job and the court. And if you go burn yourself out and you go not go be good. And the might go be want you. So step up and do better. Alright, so that's that. Now, German and Derek met together and you know German turned his life around and he said he told Derek he met Eve and he said Derek said his past is coming up to haunt him. Now the past coming up to he talked about the Miami because he left Miami and came back. So he said that's past is coming to haunt him. And Jeremy said his past coming to haunt him because he met Eve. And he said, oh, the daughter of Olivia and Chase. And he said that um, she's thinking that Raquel is the one that freaking murdered his mother. And he said, no, Raquel think that, um, no, Raquel did that for you so you could get off and give you a fresh start. So you got your fresh start. So, Derek, um, Jeremy said, you know what, what, how, help us 
is a game of poker. And we could just clear our mind when we always in the trouble when we in the gym, we play poker. So they play poker. Now, this poker was crazy. Remember, London got news from Cal that she is not going to be front and center. So Jamie going to be front and center. So what Jamie did, Jamie went to the poker game, right? And was sh showing people, was telling Derek how to play his hand. Derek won that thing. So that was that. Now before that, Jamie and Noah talk because Noah approached Jamie and said, you know what? In addition to being lying, a liar, you're a hoarder. And she said, like, what well, did I lie about? You told London that I was covering the dance. And she said, well, I needed something to get myself in the forefront. Because all, Jamie, all big thing is she wants to be great. She wants her name to be so well known that everybody know who she is. Just like everybody know who London is. But London had that scandal, so it tarnished her reputation. But Jamie wants that. She wants that. But she lived in her car still. And they was talking back and forth. And this one, no one told Jamie that he's smashing Jude. And she said, oh, you smashed this guy? The owner of the Devil's Arena? And he said, wow. And they said he want to do a double date. So, you know, Jamie's got her eyes set on, um, eyes set on Derek, right? And, um, so she's going to get a double date with Derek and me and you and Jude. And he said... Noah said it can't be a double date if Jew is not dating. We're not dating. And he said Jew is broken. And I said, oh, okay. So here goes on. This leads to the stripper, um, the poker. So Jamie came. So London said, uh uh, that deal was supposed to be me. And Jew said, no, you controversial. Jamie's front and center. She'll be good. She said, no, I'm not having it. So Derek said, you know what? That give us, everybody deserves a second chance. So I'm going to buy her way in and do it. And so Jew had um, Jamie and took her side and said, all right, cook, I got Jamie. And then, you know, German in her little world trying to flirt with Lionel. Him, Lionel and Journal was flirting back and forth for something. I was like, what the hell's going on with y'all two? I mean, y'all was flirting like it was no tomorrow. And they would say, you know what? Gamble or strip. So they started to turn the game into strip poker. I was like, damn. I said, it's hot and heavy. Jamie taking off her clothes and everything. And London was there. Derek, London, Derek, Jamie, Jude, Lionel, German. And then Noah came in. And Lionel said, oh, you know what? Um, since you here and I just lost, you need to take off your shirt. And he said, what? And Jude said, well, that's, he works for that sexual harassment. She said, sue me. And he said, I got no problem. But when I'm, if I'm doing this, then I'm going to need me. I need promotion. I need some prom um, um, promotion package. I need to do that for myself. And I need 30, everything I take, I need 30 seconds into the segments. And I guess it was agreed. So he took off his shirt. Everybody said, ooh, snap. So this is where they was in the, um, in the thing. And Jude and Derek was digging back and forth. Digging, going at, back, um, going at it. And, oh, yeah, remember... No one want a prime time package, and thirty seconds every item he take it or he takes off in a um, segment. So he agreed, and that's when he took off his shirt. Now, Derek and Jude is going back and forth. They they want jigs, digs at each other, digs so much at each other. Now Derek raised the stake. He said, "If I win, you need to talk to me through German." Now Jude said, "If he's win." You need to respond to every his text, no matter when and where. I said, okay. So they had that going on. At the end of the day, Derek won the Turk poker. Um, Lionel German went off somewhere in himself. Cause Lionel gambled her freaking Mercedes car to German. German won, so he got the car. I said, they went out and do their little thing. And... London won the hand between Jamie, because Jamie was a little vocal about things. And London said, I'm a quiet, silent killer. And she just won the game, and she said she don't have to announce her stuff. She did it. So London won. Lionel and German went in the car. They started freaking. They had sex. I said, oh, Lord. And I said, y'all was hot and heavy doing it in the car. 
And he said, oh, I got stuff to do next week. I'm be busy. And she said, oh, you giving me that talk? No, I got stuff to do. I'm busy. And now you can get up my car. He said, well, this is my car now. She said, well, you already take my car. He said, yeah, give it to me. And it's nice. No, she got up. And she, I said, oh, what's that? Go ahead, German. Now, during the midst of the poker, Jamie said she wanted to set Noah up on a date. And people was like, do you feel like Noah should go on a date? And go for it. Everybody said, go for it. Go ahead. Go ahead. They said, anybody here to feel like that I shouldn't do it. Drew didn't say anything. So Noah said, you know what? I'm good. I'm going to go. Um, Jamie set him up with a, um, I think, actor, artist, something like that. Chris Banks. And he said, they had a talk. You know, Chris Banks was full of himself. He said, uh, well, Noah said, I didn't know you gay. He said, well, whatever my float the boat, I do. And he said, but I'm not out. I'm in the closet. You need to sign a non-disclosure form. I'm good. You gonna be good with me. You gonna f- attach to me. Cause basically he said, oh, you gonna be so good with me. Like you attach and I'm a good thing. And his body, his a temple, he showed his thing. He said, it's fine. But you need to sign a non-disclosure form if you gonna deal with me. So Jude came and interrupted their little, di- um, little date and let the guy know. And he said, he, uh, Jude said, oh, you know, you, you Chris Banks. And the guy left cause he didn't want nobody to know what he doing. And Jew basically said to ask Noah, he don't want Noah to date any other people. And I guess he basically said he want to date Noah. And Noah said, okay, I'm good. We cool. We could do it. So like that. And um, Jamie and Noah talked later on. And Jamie was like, mm-hmm. she appreciate what's going on. Now she... um. Noah told Jamie that he's dating June now. And she said, oh, good. So my plan kind of worked. And I think she trying to get in her little thing as well going on. Um, But Noah did notice that Jamie is homeless. Because he said he saw the clothes in the car. You don't got no place to go. And he's, she, um, he realized that she's staying at the arena. So he, he gave her keys to her place. He said it's going to be temporarily unless you're too proud. And you can stay in the couch until you get your stuff together, until you get your own place. And she took it. It was good. It's like Noah and Jamie becoming good friends and everything. Now, Jude is pissed at Derek about what that had happened. Because uh, Derek was so pissed after he barked on Pax. He went to his um, locker room, took off his shirt, and freaking pissed off. And Jude came and he said, you know what? I have... He needs to explain to me when I have six interviews, live TV, explain that my coach got a concussion and my freaking, um, the head captain got ejected. And he said, what? You know, I'm in the front front and you in the back seat. And I'm the boss. I'm the captain. Listen, if you don't like what I'm doing, trade him. Or get out of his face. Basically, get out of his face. That's what it was. Then we came to this Devil's Girl promo. It was a good dance. I like it. I got to say, the first three dances so far in this season was really good. Because, I mean, the dances, I usually love the dances. It was a couple, like my first episode, first review, I explained some dances that I had really loved. And last week's dance was great. That song, I got them, I downloaded that song, and I got it. I love it. Now, this song was good. It was a promo, and... It um, showcased London front and center. It was nice, all black. Nice dark arena. It was a good dance. And I loved it. And I videotaped that as well. So, and Derek said, I lost it out there. They lose the faith in me. And she said, you know what? It's because of you how we did this. It's like, you inspiration. You inspired me. Because London and Derek talking. And you know, London... Dunn and Derek is having a little chemistry together. And you know, Jamie wants Derek as well. But I think Derek is feeling London a little bit. I guess he loves his dark skin girls. I think it is what it is, right? <laughs> and they started freaking because she brushed past them. She said, You're inspiration. Like, I finally feel myself again. And it's because of you that you keep rising up, rising up like a phoenix. And it's your payway that helps us. So don't lose that. And he stopped her and they started freaking 
having sex at the set that had um she danced at. I said, Ooh, London the Derek, go ahead, y'all. Now the last thing that happened, Eve talked to um Jude and she said that Derek got suspended for three games and she said he's a firecracker and you may have to let him go and you gotta be careful because Jude got um Jeremy got hurt and you could be next and if you don't let this guy go he said sometimes I have to make choices in keeping my players so I don't think Jude is ready to leave um get rid of Derek yet but I said please don't get rid of Derek yet because that would make her playing easier and I said I can't have the season with Eve is winning and she just getting all her stuff one at a time like come on now but that was the end of the episode like I said I enjoyed this episode it was really not loved it if I miss anything please let me know oh oh I did forget that Eve met Jeremy in his office and she wanted to check up on him to see how he's doing and I guess she trying to get on his skin too because I think she knows something about him but um I remember she trying to take each person down so she's trying to win herself in German graces but German's keeping up like distance from her because he's like kind of like pushed back all the time he see Eve because I guess I don't know he maybe feel guilty of what happened whatever but she went to see him and then that's where she went to see Jew but that was the last episode um, no, that was the last scene with um, Eve met with June and told him that be careful because you be you might get hurt next. And she turned around, had her little freaking faces green and her evil little snark little face she makes. She makes. That was it. Hope y'all liked my review. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Please also share my videos if you like anything to help build my channel up. And I'll talk to y'all all later. Peace.